Hello everyone, I'm Nintendo8000 here on the SNM network. And welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U. Uh, we're just going to get straight in here with World 5, so to Jungle. Jungle of the Giants. Now if you couldn't tell, this is an obvious reference to uh, New Super Mario Bros. 3, not New Super Mario, but Super Mario Bros. 3 with the Giant World. Uh, I've never actually got that far in Super Mario Bros. 3. I think I've mentioned before it was pretty much my first uh, Mario game, possibly my first video game. And um, I never really got past World 2, so. But I've watched uh, Nintendo Capistan's walkthrough of it, so it looks quite fun. If I, if I could find your copy, I'd probably go back and play it, but. Oh well. It's actually been quite a while since I last recorded here. Um, you guys won't be able to tell this, but it has been ages. Solely because of. Um, well, I lost the camera for a start, and that's never a good thing when I only have one camera to record with. And I just got busy as well. But I'm recording this now, bang in the middle of my uh, exam period, which is quite fun. I've <laughs> uh, got English coming up soon. Um, so, by the time I upload this though, exams will be well over, I'll probably be in, into July or something. And hopefully I'll be well into the series then, maybe could have finished recording. Because I really want to uh, finish a series. On my own channel, Nintendo 3000, I've never actually finished a series. Mostly because people just weren't watching them, I didn't have any friends who are Nintendo fans. But it's nice on the SNM network having like a group of people who sort of appreciate the same thing, and even if you don't get that many views, it's still nice just to know that you get some people who do watch your series for fun and like it. I feel like I've missed a star coin here, I've not been paying attention at all, and I do not remember any of the locations. So, this should be an interesting... Oh, damn. That was not good. Um, um, there you go. Watch this be the second one. This is going to be the... I'm curious now. Okay, let's just get rid of these guys. And bounce up and we'll jump. Oh, yep, yeah, second one. That me should be goombas. That means I've missed one, and I will go back for it. I'm thinking I might do uh, maybe not half a world per episode. Damn, <laughs> not half a world per episode anymore. Because let's be honest, it's going to start getting longer, and I'm going to end up having to fit like uh, up to 30 minute videos, which I really don't want to do because you know it gets boring uh, for you guys. So I'm going to probably stick from this episode onwards to maybe three episodes, uh, three episodes, three uh, missions, or however many I can fit in. Damn, I feel like I'm right at the end here and I have no star point. Is there one up there? There's one up there, isn't there? Damn it, there is one up there. <laughs> okay, maybe I can, maybe I can recover this? Nope, not happening. I'll be back, guys, for the rest. Oh boy, great start. <laughs> Okay, I, I see now. It's got to be done here, isn't it? That's kind of obvious as well. I don't know how I missed this one. This, this is just like, so simple. <laughs> I was literally not paying any attention at all. Is that a um, live? No, it's not. Alright, I'll see you guys next star coin. Okay, let's give this a shot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. I don't care if it's cheating. It's a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. It's 92% uh, safer. I feel sort of cheap, but you know what? I don't really care anymore. Let's just... I'm not using the pay coins. It's the legitimate power-up. And we are nearly at 99 lives, I just realised. You see, in this game, when you get 99 lives, Mario doesn't lose his hat. But um, if you're playing boost mode of someone using the gamepad to touch screen, which I haven't shown off yet, which I will do at some point. Um, then basically it makes really small blocks, which is incredibly irritating, so it's kind of stupid, but oh well. Number two, bridge over poisoned waters. <sighs> Let's do this one. See if I can remember this one slightly better. Okay, I remember that was there, so that's that's a start. Hopefully that's a good omen for Oh no. These ones. Okay, pretty simple. You got if you stay in them too long, you start to slip down. You've got to keep jumping up to the top. That is pretty much the main strategy here. It's not too bad, but if you're like running and one for a while, it can get a little tedious. Uh, when you've got PA corn as well, which they apparently give you in a level, so you are supposed to have it. It's not too bad with one of those. Can I just cheat this with a... No, I can't. <laughs> they fall down pretty quickly. Is that... There looks like there should... Oh, voice crack. There looks like there should be something there, but I'm not going to risk it for it. Wouldn't risk it for a chocolate biscuit. You know, I could use a chocolate biscuit right now, actually. Even though I just ate something like five seconds ago. What is out there? That concerns me greatly. 
Yeah, or I could just, you know, miss it completely. I can't go up there, which means there must be some other entrance. There. Was there an enemy there a second ago? Yes, there must have been. Oh, oh, I see. Clever, Nintendo, clever. Hidden blocks. Haven't seen that in a while. Is this just a star coin, or is it just one of them hidden areas? No, it is a star coin. Oh, okay, what's the power block about? I feel like I'm missing something that's strategic I'm supposed to do here. I guess if you didn't have the acorn, you'd have to do it this way. Oh, and this one there. Um, it's not entirely sure what this will do, but... Oh, okay, I see. There you go. I could, like I said, I had the acorn. I could have just flown up there, but... I do the cool way to get those in money. Get up to 99 lives, even though we've just established it does absolutely nothing. It's, it's all the achievement of saying, you know what, I got 99 lives. Screw you, game. There's something here, isn't there? Good. Didn't want to do all that for nothing. And what is this? Oh, okay, nothing. Thanks for that, game. <laughs> if I can get out of here. Oh. Okay, that means that there's... Oh. No, okay, I was going to see what's in here. I don't think it's anything important, but I do want to check just in case. Okay, let's go for it. Ah, just a while out. That's not too bad. Okay, what's down here? Oh, damn. What? Okay. Why? I'm not going to go down there. There's obviously nothing there, but what, what was the point in that little area? I, I'm just not going to question this game anymore. Just keep going with it. I have already established that it's completely strange. So anyway, uh, let's talk Nintendo news. Like I said, this will all have been old by the time you guys get in it. I'm recording this on the 12th of Mar May. March. Yeah, so it would be been old by the time you guys get this, but um, Mewtwo DLC is out. That's really fun. Mewtwo's quite a cool character. I did have uh, Smash Bros. Melee. Oh, darn. Damn it. <laughs> I did have Smash Bros. Melee, um, not when it came out, I got it later on, um, and it's alright, so I, I, didn't, I didn't get Mewtwo in it though, so he's quite fun to play as him, um, anything else, let's see, Nintendo Theme Park, that's pretty big, I'm a huge roller coaster fanatic, as I went to Fort Park yesterday actually, and I've probably already talked to you guys about how uh, I went to Cedar Point, uh, one of the biggest theme parks in the world, which is really awesome, um, I marvel at it, but you know what, I just did, so... <laughs> So yeah, this is big news to me, and I did go to Universal Studios once, and it was really cool. And if you watch Game Explains video, they have quite a good lot of discussions about how it could take over Marvel area, or stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. Things they could do. Um, like I said, this discussion's probably been and gone by the time you guys are watching this. But obvious one would be a Metroid shooter in the style of the Buzz Lightyear ride, where you, you're in a little ship going around, be Sam's ship, and you have to shoot aliens. You could even do, I'm not sure it would work as well, a Zelda themed one of those. Um, where like it's meant to be archery, that would be pretty cool. And you're like going around more like an opponent. But I'm not sure they could do something better with Zelda. Uh, Star Fox Road Coaster would be cool. Nabbit. You know what? Let, let, let's do let's do Nabbit, might as well. Have you got a star? We have. We'll try it without first. But yeah, uh, Star Fox Road Coaster would be cool. Someone on the SONM channel channel? Um, forums, I forgot who it was, but mentioned uh, Pikmin Gardens, uh, credit to you, that, that, I think that'd be pretty cool, that was a brilliant idea actually, uh, simulator, I think someone said on thing Mario would look best as a simulator, this is incredibly easy, if I get this, darn it, oh okay, yeah, it was easy, had to lose my acorn, but not too bad, but yeah, uh, Mario simulator thing would work good, maybe even like a drop ride, like a detonator at Fort Park or something, like Mario do 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 It could play, you know, he's, that was awful, but he's dying animation. Uh, that would be quite cool. Otherwise, um, I can't really think of much... Mario Kart Dodgems, there you go. Someone, I forgot, that probably has been mentioned on the SNM channel as well, but that was a brilliant idea. And that's all I can really think of. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of something really cool they could do with Zelda. Besides maybe a simulator, even though Star Fox would work with a simulator. I can't really think of but Oh no. Come on, Hades. <laughs> These enemies are just annoying because they slow down the level so much. Okay, go try and kill him. There you go, that's good. They just slow you down, you're trying to be quick for the level and you have to wait. Oh, coins. Huh, they really do hide a lot of coins here. It, they're just sort of a nuisance. I, I get the point of them, but. And they mix up the levels. I'm glad they're in here, but they're just annoying. Hey! 
Got that, that's good. I didn't want to have to do this level again, like I did the other. And what's the item meant to be? Ice flower. Was that just for the ice flower? Is the ice flower going to be useful this level? I, I don't even know. I guess it actually, yeah, it probably will be for freezing those guys to get over them. So, yeah, yeah, I say that's a good idea, but still. Yes, it does work. Oh, damn. That was close. Aha. And that's probably going to be very useful so I can get this. Yes. That's a nice easy star coin. Once you got that. <laughs> wow, it is useful having this, isn't it? Um, okay, is there something over there? Oh, there's nothing important to do with, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh, and these bits. There's probably an item in there, but I don't need any items or any lives. Got 99, yes. So, really don't need them. And I don't need that item either, so... Screw your item completely. What do I... Oh. Was that a smart idea? Yeah, yeah, that was alright. One of these points I'm going to need when I need to cost something, so I probably shouldn't freeze them every chance I see them, but... You know, it, it's useful. Actually, there you go, there's the next one. I remember this bit. Okay, now we can just get it across. Aha! That was pretty good. Ah, I'm doing quite good at this level, actually. And having more fun with it than I remembered now that I got this cheeky ice flower. I'm not sure what the top one is about, but I'm just going to go for this one anyway. I screwed myself. No, I haven't. I can do that. I don't think the mini mushroom actually has anything. I'm not sure. Is the secret exit there? I don't even know. I, I, I don't know things like this anymore. I probably should do. Um. There's a way to do this. Let's try hitting him from here. There we go. We just gotta follow him along. And if I f won't, will I get it if I freeze him? I probably was supposed to jump off his head. Yeah, I was. Oh well, I don't need the life. And it's not like Super Mario 3D World where you need to get the top of the flagpole for 100% completion. That's that's just stupid. What? Why? That means you have to complete it as every character and get to the top of the flagpole as every character. I, I don't count that. I, I did 100% Mario 3 World, but not to that extent. Give it 15 minutes, plus a little extra now. You know what? We're going to have time for this. Let let's fill it in this episode. Watch me take about 20 minutes on this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> I knew I'd regret it as soon as I actually started the level. This is not a good one. Um, wish me luck, guys. I think it's quite short, assuming you do it in one go. But like I said, that's assuming you do it in one go. And it's probably going to take a little while for me to actually know the pattern to actually do everything, so... Ah, uh, no, no, no. And it just takes ages. It's just I mean, it might be quicker than, like, a normal one. But it just feels so slow because you're just going in circles. There, there, there's, and then that happens, and it. Oh, come on. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're back. The thing that annoys me about these things is that at some points you really want to be right at the top of it to actually succeed. Whereas at other points you really need to be at the end of it to get it. And you never know which way you need to be. Okay, let's go for it. So you never know exactly if you're doing the right thing or not. So you could completely get screwed over by just not knowing off by heart the level. And how are you supposed to do that at this point? So yeah, it's stupid. It's very stupid, but you know what we're doing alright now. We got this far. Ah, I've got an acorn flower, which is probably very helpful. Assuming there's no secret exit, we're actually doing well, yes. Okay, halfway point. Two star coins. Not too bad. Let's just hope we can finish this off. I there's gonna be this is probably gonna be a 20 minute video by the time we've got all the editing out. At the moment it's at 17, but there's a little bit of cutting out to do. Hopefully the video won't stop partway through like it sometimes does. Because there's a, at random points it will stop recording. There's, it has a certain level it gets to. Okay, we're doing good. Nearly. <laughs> oh no! Just look at this. This is just stupid. It's intimidating and it's scary. I don't like it. Do I need to hit that? I'm going to hit it, but I'm not sure I need. Okay, I don't need to. Oh come on! Look at that. What, what am I even? Oh boy. I'm probably going to die at the end here because I'm going to need to be at the front for a bit. I'm not... <sighs> I'm, I'm just very nervous on this and you couldn't tell. My commentary is probably absolutely awful now because it's just me completely being terrified of what's going to happen if I die. And by what's going to happen, I mean me having to do the level again. I know exactly what's going to happen. There we go. That was not actually too bad. Only one death. Watch me die stupidly to the main boss, or the, the, you know, mini boss. Oh, it's only Boom Boom, I forgot. Oh, that was just a halfway castle. Damn it. <laughs> I 
Forgot about that. All right, boom, boom, let's bring it on. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, and he just gets bigger. And he's probably still gonna be easy as hell to defeat. Oh, it's correct. I mean, seriously, that's, that's just... Every upgrade, there's absolutely nothing. You can just jump him straight away. He needs to at least have like a spinny, spiky thing like the Koopins have, because let's be honest, he's just so easy. I'm probably going to complain about that every time I see him, which is a lot, but you know, it's just, it just doesn't work, does it? The Mario 3D World fights with him were slightly better. Uh, yeah, he did some cool stuff, he turned invisible and that was, was kind of cool. I think there is actually a secret exit on one of these levels, so I'm going to go back to do it, but I'll do that in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching this episode of New Smash Bros. U on the SMM Network. I've been Nintendo 3000 here, and I'll see you next time.